Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of um, well, I guess social fishing in my channel, my videos. Um, so today I want to talk to about potentially blisters also being met. So as you guys probably would have heard by now, um, uh, booster boxes have been met. So like basically, like you know, the really rare stuff occurs um, once every two boxes. Uh, sorry, once every two packs, and it's quite continuous. Now, um, basically, it would seem as if it's basically out of. I mean, based on what is being printed. So basically, um, Pokemon just stacks two, you know, really crappy booster packs, and then one good one, and then two crappy, and then one good one, and then two crappy, and so on. So the idea is that it could probably and most likely is done with blisters as well the thing is when we as um, retailers get our blister packs they come as individuals like this so the question here is that could us could ourselves as retailers actually um, map this because yes even though it comes as individuals the thing is from the distributor chances are basically if Pokemon uh, printed them in this exact order they would get to the distributor in this exact order and the distributor just pick this up in this pile and shove it into a box like this that we get sent once we order something and so it sh the order of blisters potentially remain the same um, even in these boxes and so potentially it can actually be mapped as well now that's I guess bad news for everyone except for us retailers <coughs> in fact um, yeah like it's even better news because for a lot of um, people like you know uh, buying booster packs has always well, people, a lot of people don't actually buy booster packs. They buy uh, blister packs intentionally because um, blisters are, well, very random. But booster uh, boxes are not. I mean, so booster packs in a booster box are not. Um, so yeah, people buy blisters, blisters um, due to the randomness. Um, I'm just going to try to try this box up with this one hand, which is why it's taking a while. But it's hopefully gonna open soon so i just want to show that this is brand new i just got the box today so i haven't actually opened it up at all so obviously i can't have much with the results now <coughs> of course if the distributors are smart enough to mix up all the blister cards or if the blister packs sorry this are packs not cards or if the blister packs are you know just randomly mixed from the very beginning um you know from when pokemon produces them then that would be quite interesting and that means that um well you guys and i suppose myself sometimes as well as uh, customers don't have to worry at all about buying blisters and having them uh, mapped and you know all the good stuff taken out and we'll see a booster box booster box it's a custom order someone wanted two sun and moon boosters and one steam siege so anyways the one thing that um, i must say at first is that the the artwork tends to um be the same if you take out uh let's take those out like yeah all of them in order they're all the cgi um parts and then you know that's like a bunch of Primarina and then Sogaleo and then just a bunch of Sogaleo so it seems like you know the order is more or less kept um so I'll take out I'll see let's see let's take out this for example um and let's see if so there's one two three four five six seven so in theory, there should be two ultra, um, well, two really rare cool stuff in here, if it's actually the mat. Um, so let's start. So I'm gonna have to open with one hand because I decided to take this video with my hand, with my iPhone. So it's gonna be a bit hard, but you know, let's see how it works. So the idea is that um, if you look at the code card, um, the green ones are like you know the crappy stuff and the um, white code card is where you have something rare in it so yeah so i'm opening this up in front of you guys and as you can see all of that i haven't shuffled anything at all or whatever so this is oh well yeah you guys can have that as well so this is a white so that means that it there should be something good in there where is it oh there we go so it's a um hello uh, rare so well that was very lucky so essentially if that's the good one then we would be followed by two bad ones one good one two bad ones and one good one so let's see what's in here 
this should be something good. An ultra rare or a holo rare or something like that. Now, um, someone also said that basically it's like, you know, um, it alternates. So if you have one rare, uh, sorry, <coughs> one ultra rare, one holo rare, one ultra rare, one holo rare. So because this one was a holo rare, um, let me just pull the card up. The Sharpedo was a holo rare. We should have an ultra rare in here. So let's see. And yes, I could be potentially damaging the cards here, but I'm sacrificing it all so that we all know the truth. I all know the truth. Okay, right. So, um, well, yeah, you guys can have the code card if you guys want. And let's see, moment of truth, it should be white. Oh no, it's a green. Okay, so obviously that did not work. And so, yeah, it's just a normal uh, lantern. So, good news for everyone. It seems that blisters are completely random. I mean, you start out with um, one you know, rare, rare thing and then, or to be more precise, I'm not sure if blisters are necessarily random, but um, when the distributor is sell them to the retailers, it's random enough that it doesn't have a pattern to it as soon. So this is like the last one. And we have a code card. And it's, oops, sorry, yeah, it's green. So yeah, obviously in this case here, there's nothing cool out there. Yeah, it's a crab abominable. So as you can see, um, if you're worried that a retailer, like myself, I guess, uh, would be taking out all the really good cards from here, well, worry no more because even when we get them from our distributors, it is already random. So that's one good news, I guess. Yay, thumbs up. Uh, yeah, bye-bye.